peace. Assalamu alaikum. Happy Sunday to everyone. This is your man, Herman Supreme Style Muhammad. And uh, once again, I'm in my backyard and I was just thinking. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people this weekend, running up on people who are extremely concerned about what's going on with the mandating of the shot and a lot of people are hemming and hawing they're uh, wringing their hands wondering what am I going to do because at the beginning of all of this when they came out with this shot especially a lot of our black revolutionary friends they said there's no way I'm taking the shot and so when they came with, you know, all of those incentives, lottery tickets and Super Bowl tickets and event tickets and chicken sandwiches and fish dinners to get the shot, that even made our suspicion go up even a little higher as to why would they want to incentivize us to get this shot. Uh, man, I'm still not getting it. But then all of a sudden, the enemy comes and he threatens you with your livelihood. He threatens you with the loss of travel privileges. He threatens you with loss of money and things of that nature. And so now a lot of us will find ourselves debating rolling our sleeves up to go and get the shot because we're afraid to lose our job. Well, let me tell you something. I'm a follower of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, who is the most fearless black man on earth today. And of course, he is the national representative of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, who really is the most fearless black man who's ever walked amongst us. And the reason why these individuals are so fearless is because they have a belief in their God. And so I'm saying all of this to all of my people who are fearful of what you're gonna lose. Who do you fear more? Do you fear the loss of friendship, the loss of a job, the loss of relationships with people who really don't care about you anyway? Or do you fear disobedience to the God that you say you serve? I'm gonna say this, man. The scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. When they, when they come to you threatening you with that shot or losing your job for not getting the shot, just simply tell them no. Resist the devil. Tell the devil, no sir, no ma'am, I'm not taking your shot under any circumstances. And then look and see what your God does for you. Because here's, here's what's going to happen. They can fire you. But if they fire you, another door is going to open for you that you should have been doing anyway. They can threaten you. But again... What are they going to do? They can't force you. They can't hold you down and jab a COVID-19 shot into your arm. Can they? Then don't fear them. Know that your reward is with your Lord. And I don't care about what name that you call him. Stand on truth. I always say it at the end of all of my broadcasts on the Final Call News Hour that 
If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Stand on truth and know that God is with you. What we're witnessing is the destruction of this world, of the enemy's world, and the ushering in of a new world, of a new government wherein we could all live in peace together, in peace. But those of us who know, those of us who have the courage, we have to stand on what we know. We have to stand on what's right and not allow an enemy to inject us with God knows what. Remember, you only have one life to live, so teaches the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And so you better protect it with all that you have. I heard Demon Fauci, that's what I called him, Demon Fauci, talk about giving the vaccine or having the vaccine approved for pregnant women. They have something sinister brewing up their sleeves, brothers and sisters, and we can't fall for the okie doke. Stand on what you know. Flee. Or not flee. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Just tell him no. Because the worst thing that they could do, if you think about it, there have been 130 million people who've taken this so-called vaccine or shot, as I like to call it. And there are over 100 million of us who are eligible who have not taken it. What are, they, what are they going to do? Are they going to fire a hundred million of us? Just think it over. Remember, people only have authority over you when you give them authority over you. That's my word for today, man. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Peace. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Herman Muhammad. And remember, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. We'll see you all next time.